Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're taking a look at what is probably my favorite NASCAR diecast I have, and it's my only custom NASCAR diecast. This is Lawless Allen's 2022 Auto Parkit Primary Scheme. He has one run a couple different schemes for like auto dock it, auto charge it. But this is personally my favorite and it is the one he has run most often. I am actually a Lawless Allen fan. Uh, it's a tough life, but all my drivers are underdogs, so it's a, it's a lot of pain. Um, but Lawless is a pretty pretty cool driver, and um, I saw a custom of his truck, and since I know Lionel is not going to make it, I just had to pick it up because it was also a pretty good price. It's about $24, and it's pretty well made. Not perfect, but it is good enough for me. Um, one thing I did notice is it's on the, the Toyota Tundra body, apparently all the trucks are actually on the same body, just with different decals, so like, they're just compared to an actual Tundra, not a custom. Oh, don't want to do that again. And you can see, yeah, it's pretty much the same as Austin Hill's 2021 car. I'm not sure if these are the same, they do have different codes on the bottom. But at Austin Hills, this was the only Tundra released in the, uh, recently in NASCAR Authentics. Um, that was before, that was during the time this custom was made. There was a couple of race wins made recently. But I believe those, uh, are, came after the custom. Uh, you can see the front is probably the part I like maybe the least. It's this kind of scratch around here, but still very, very well made. Well, go, I mean, good enough for me. That's it. The number on the top looking pretty nice, and then this part is just amazingly well done. You can see like the uh, the Nord logo as well as the Mobile One logo. I think there is a Simeon's or like a Simon's logo on this part right here, this blue part at the bottom, but I do not see that. I'm not sure if that logo is on the truck every single race. The front banner is a little bit backwards. Um, this is a Nice truck. I do have two other Nice trucks, one from 2020, one from 2021, and now I have one from 2022, though not official. Here's the 2021. This is Trevor Bain's car, or truck rather, just the simple Plan B sales. It's kind of like American themed, I guess. And then uh, Kyle Larson's Bristol dirt truck. This is a very nice truck. I like it. Pretty cool scheme. As Kyle Larson, Kyle Larson truck 164, which is not a normal thing. Auto auto park it logo that is kind of all over the truck. You have it on the rear deck lid as well as the Chevrolet logo. Have it on the front, then you have it on the sides and the rear as well. They have sponsored him pretty much his entire career. Um, I think his family owns a part of the company. I could be wrong there. Uh, one of the main, one of my main, my main favorite parts of this truck is the fact that, uh, so that, that is what the auto park it logo looks like, but on the hood, they actually changed it to the, to where it is like completely straight and it, and the, uh, the lines inside extend outwards and into the wheels. That is a very cool touch. I also just really like the colors. The light blue is amazing and it goes really well with the dark blue, the red, and especially the yellow. I'm a big fan of that. It rolls pretty nicely, which is nice, because some of the Disney Cars customs I have don't roll at all. One of them doesn't even have a base. But it was necessary to make the car, and I got it for pretty cheap, so I don't mind that at all. Um, you can't even really see a whole lot of, like, work done on the bottom. On a Disney car, you would typically see a lot of glue, but you can barely see it in there. That's a cool little touch. Anyways, I love Lawless Allen. I love this custom, and, um... That's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.